For a channel called The Pop Punk Apologist, I'm aware that my favorite albums each year are adjacent to the genre, at best. It's very hard for me to find a new album that scratches that same itch as a finer things or life's not out to get you. And I get it. You might say, pop punk hasn't been good since whenever you went to high school. It peaked at Enema of the State or Dookie or whatever. And I find that there's comfort and nostalgia to be had listening to my favorite blasts from the past whenever I get a little craving for something that only generic pop punk can give me. But there's something very special about finding a new band. One that's actually in their early years and isn't coasting off a larger than life smash hit like Ocean Avenue. A diamond in the rough. So while taking a break from the hellhole of hardcore music that I've been listening to for a future video, I yearned for something easier on the ears. Enter Midfield with an end of summer album if there ever was one. This self-titled is way better than a debut pop punk album has any business being. And it checks off a lot of the boxes that I have soft spots for, call them guilty pleasures even. Gang vocals, an abundance of self-deprecating metaphors, satisfying chord progressions, a very polished sound. It's not the most cerebral album I'll ever hear, but I'm totally on board. Even though I don't typically gravitate towards vocals this clean. I kind of like bad vocals. Think early neck deep or waster or Spanish love songs songs with strains and cracks and whatever to keep my wife from asking me what Disney Channel original movie this song is from. No Disney Channel album is going to have five explicit tracks on it, babe. Putting aside my own silly insecurities, what Midfield does very right is that they rip through some of the catchiest songs that I've heard in years. Huge vocal melodies on top of chunky guitars. They're writing hooks on par in my mind with bearings, between you and me, broadside, even state champs. And if you like any of those bands, I think you will adore Midfield. It was so refreshing to hear songs that I want to dance to and sing along to instead of crawl in a hole and die or commit traffic violations. Before you go out and listen to it, let me prevent you from making the mistake that I nearly did. I like the first track, Groundhog Day, a lot. Now. I like Out of Time a lot. Now. But the first time, honestly, I almost gave up on the album completely. The record does not sound like its opening track. This record is massive chorus after massive chorus, and the opener is heavy on gang vocals, but light on hooks. It made me think that I was in for a very different album, one that frankly I wasn't excited for. The opening 10 seconds of track 2, Out of Time, reminded me so much of that Owl City song that I was very, very close to giving up on this album completely and going back to hate listening to another band in the 90s hardcore scene that apparently invented a genre. But 20 seconds into the second song, this album fully kicks into gear and never misses a beat. And I'm saying this not to nitpick how this album opens, I like it just fine now, but I want to prevent anyone from saying, nah, this isn't for me after a single song, like I almost did. And it'd be tragic if you did, because you'd miss out on songs like Southpaw, and you'd miss out on the great chorus in Out of Time, and you'd miss out on some lyrics that you could enter into Fantano's next best poop bar video. Midfield frontloads their self-titled album with the most obvious hits, culminating with my favorite pop-punk summer jam of the year, Tidal Wave. The last four songs may not have any clear kingmaker tracks, but the album still closes strongly. Even the cheesy moments like gang vocals shouting, yeah, have me grinning. A song like Echoes is underrated on this album as far as number of listens go, but I'm sure that this will be a fan favorite in their live act whenever they come through your city. If you've been listening to pop punk for a while, you'll find tropes and influences littered throughout this album, and maybe you'll hate that. Personally, I was very happy to listen to another permutation of the pop punk formula that I love so much. I had tons of fun with this album, and I think Midfield can put together an awesome six song set, open for a band like Bearings, and get a bunch of new fans in the process. If you want to help them blow up like I do, stream and share their new album that I've linked down below. If you want to support the channel, just like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.